Now, I don't know about you, Patrick, but the uh, the cocktail parties and the shindigs that I go to, everybody pretty much just has one basic question. How much more can this stock market rally now on its eighth year continue? What's the answer? We think it has a little bit more to go, Brian. We think 2018 will be characterized by an earnings-driven rally. We think earnings for the S&P 500 this year will come in in the neighborhood of 8 to 9 percent. That's tax policy neutral, plus an additional 10 to 12 percent from corporate tax reform, driving S&P 500 earnings up to the neighborhood of $161 in 2018 from $133 in 2017. We think we can exit the year in the neighborhood of 3000 on the S&P 500. Okay, I hear what you're saying about earnings. I get that. However, why are you so confident that the earnings optimism is not already priced in? Because they're in most models. Yeah, there certainly is. But I think the fundamental backdrop is as strong today as it's been at any point during this cycle. We're seeing, for the first time, globally coordinated and synchronized growth. Growth outside of the United States, particularly in Europe, is accelerating. That global backdrop is very supportive of corporate earnings, something that we expect to continue through 2018. What's the biggest risk then? There must be something out there that's, that can, I mean, I, I, the fundamental case is strong, I get it, but there's gotta be something that you're worried about. Yeah, there are a number of things we're keeping an eye on, Brian. Obviously valuations, as you pointed out, valuations are full. That's the first thing that we're paying attention to. Outside of that, ever-present geopolitical risks, central bank policy error, and then very importantly, interest rates and inflation. Yeah, is the Fed, I know we talk a lot about missiles in North Korea, I get that, but is the Fed quietly the biggest risk? I don't think it's the biggest risk. We're anticipating three to four hikes in 2018. The market right now is pricing in approximately two, so JP Morgan's looking for a little bit more from the Fed in 2018 than the market is anticipating. But we think that's going to lead to a flattening of the yield curve with the 10-year staying below 3%. We really don't get too worried about rates until we see the 10-year approaching 3.5% or 4%. And so we don't think that the Fed will derail this party. I believe it is the longest or at least one of the longest stretches ever without a 3% plus drop for the S&P 500. That's great for investors, but personally, having done this now about 20 years, it makes me a little bit nervous. Do you think we're going to get some kind of meaningful correction anytime in 2018? I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know how meaningful it's going to be. The point that you make with regards to the absence of volatility and very shallow pullbacks is very, very unusual. Certainly, we don't expect markets to go up in a straight line. When we do see volatility, we would be prepared to buy those pullbacks, taking a pro-cyclical bias to how we would want to add equities, specifically in industrials, financials, and technology sectors. So, so the big industrials to you still look pretty good? They do. All right, Patrick, it was a real pleasure to have you on. Patrick Schaefer, take care. Thank Thanks, you very Brian. much. Folks, as always, thank you for tuning in to Trading Nation. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.